So I'm gonna to try to show you how one method that I do for adult cats and medium-sized cats. Um, yeah. and of course, when the cat we saw the other ones are here. But this is Rochelle. Um, now on Rochelle, as you can tell, she has a cream paw and then she has her, her black tabby paw. So um, whenever you have any color that's a light color, it's kind of hard to see the nails, what I typically do, I take normal human fingernail clippers and I grab the little paw and they're very used to me playing with it. And I extend the little paw out like this and I normally take my finger behind it so I can just see it. And then I clip right to where you can kind of see where that nerve is, which is right there, just a little bit. And I would do it on here as well. And I just clip it just like this. Um, as you can tell on the darker color, it's a lot easier to see it. So you don't necessarily have to put your finger behind it. With Maine Coons, they have long heel as well as toe tufts. So I try to just make sure it's moved. And as you can tell, if you want to zoom in on that, it's, it's just, it's very easy because of the fact we're constantly playing with your hands. Um, let me show you if I can show you on Bentley as well. Bentley is our red mama. I did just trim some of her nails. The lighter the color of cat, the actual, a little bit hotter it is. Um, so if you notice on heel, here we go on this nail. I just pretty much moved the nail uh, or the heel away from the nail. And I just trimmed just a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit. Um, that one looks good. Now, some reason, some of the cats, this nail, which is kind of like this finger, um, and this one or this one, which would be this one or this one on a cat, sometimes they honestly seem to grow a lot more than some of the other ones. And then on the dew claw, I will take my hand and just move it like this, and you can definitely see the sleeve that the actual nail goes in. And by just pushing lightly on the bottom of the paw, it just helps the, the claw come out. But as you can tell on hers, if you can see on here, you've got the actual uh, nerve or whatnot that's in there, and you can kind of see right there is where it's at. I try not to go any more than that. And then I do it on this other side as well, because she'll have her dew claw. And now if you can see on this one, her dew claw definitely does need to be trimmed. So I would just take this on hers, and I just lightly do it just about to there. I don't know if you can see right where that nail actually is. It's very clear, you just trim, and it's done. And I do that on every single one of hers. Um, that one will need to be done. And then um, same thing with Gigi. She's a dark colored cat. So hers, now her nails are a little bit different than some dark colored cats uh, because her nails are actually a little bit darker. Never mind. Her nails are not a little bit dark. I think it's um, Photon. But with Photon, he has just a little bit darker of a nail on there. And as you can see, I just move it away a little bit. Not a big deal. You just move it away and you literally just snip. And they're pretty cool and you can massage them a little bit and this is how you do it with most cats will handle it this way um unless you have the baby kittens we do it this way with the baby kittens and i typically will sit like this where my knees are together put them here or my feet are completely together so that way if they back up they're not going to come out um and so like i'll show you with g i normally will just move them over i tuck the tail underneath and I literally hold them like this. I'll normally use my chest as maneuvering so that way they can't be wiggling. Um, with kittens, I'll be showing that in a different video. With the kittens, we normally will scuff them a little bit until they get trained. So that's how you clip the nails of the kitty with normal fingernail clippers.